Hello Chipsters, it's Gav, welcome to another one of my videos. I know, you know, we had a, a slow couple of weeks and one after the other. Uh, I'm doing this video now because uh, the client's coming to pick them up uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so, it's only going to be a brief look, uh, you've seen them most before. So what I'll probably do is, um, they're all on a, in a really useful box, you know, my own plastic boxes, storage boxes. I'll stick it on the bench. Uh, we'll, I've got the tripod thing here. We'll have a quick overview of everything in the box. Uh, it's, it, it's not huge. It's, uh, it wasn't. It's one of them commissions. Um, it's just each of those little soldiers takes me hours to paint, uh, and I usually do a, this stage. I think I might have been doing ten a time. I usually do about eight, uh, but I was doing ten, I believe, this time round. Uh, the Mamelukes. So they're the uh, cavalry that you see on the front. Uh, they were a leftover from uh, a bit of history. They were a leftover from the uh, Napoleon's uh, invasion of uh, of Egypt, if you want to put it that way. Uh, they were supposed to be made up from the original Mamelukes uh, of that time, that then went on to serve uh, the emperor. Uh, from what I've read, most of them tended to be uh, Greek and 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 some Ottomans and stuff like that, you know, so it's more about dressing like uh, the Ottomans, I suppose, rather than actually being an Ottoman, if that makes sense. So, yeah, the cavalry, actually, the cavalry uh, weren't part of the commission, uh, but the client had seen me paint them up, and I'd already based them, always away. <laughs> and he said, well, look, if you can get them off the bases and put them on the tiny ones, uh, as I call them, uh, I'll, I'll buy those off you as well. Well, money speaks, he said, Tears in my eyes, streaming down my cheeks. I got me screwdriver and I'm chiseling them off. <laughs> oh, there's nothing worse than uh, taking anybody that's rebased war game figures, whether you're doing it for a different rule book or whether you just like me have been asked to rebase them. It always hurts. Uh, right. <laughs> so yeah, so um, I'll stick a load of photographs or a few photographs up at the end. They're not going to be massively high quality. Uh, the camera that I'm videoing now with, I'm trying it is a Sony low rent low end uh, video camera it has a photographic function uh, my, my mobile does take them better but I think it's just a such a faff uh, mobile sending mobile to because I do mobile to computer then computer into the file type thing you know and, uh, so I'll just take them with this so uh, how they look I don't know um, I'm not going to put them in a photo booth or anything so uh, and you've seen them all before really they're all the same figures you just haven't seen them as they are. have magnetised them, uh, you'll see that as well. Uh, I, uh, I use, um, it's like a, a rubber, oh, I'll show you in a minute, but like a rubberised sheet with metal filings impregnated in it as for the uh, for the base and then obviously um, stick on magnet sheet uh, that, that goes under the under the, the bases and it, it, it you know, uh, it, it's enough to stop them flying around in a box um, that's the idea anyway so guys a uh, big thank you to my client because I know he'll see this video at some stage uh, so thank you very much for the work I appreciate that uh, you know you are and uh, I um, yeah just been fun uh, I've had a lot of obviously you know I've got head problems uh, they've it's really messed me around this nothing to do with like the COVID uh, what they call it, people have been getting mental health problems for the Covid lockdowns and stuff, well I've been locked down in here for years, <laughs> That's, no it's just it comes and goes um, and uh, I, I don't get a lot of sleep and stuff like that and then it affects me painting, not quality but just the amount I can do before I burn out again, uh, so yeah, <laughs> you didn't want to know all that really but I'm just saying uh, it's taken a while but there's still been an enjoyable commission to do, uh, I'm not getting away from uh, Napoleonics because the commission that the, the another poor client who's been waiting months <laughs> he's literally had him waiting with me for months is a uh, is a 28 millimeter French Napoleonic so I'm not changing uniforms uh, there's a couple of 28 mil uh, regiments uh, in campaign dress though from front rank and a, a uh, Empress Dragoons uh, which is a guard dragoon uh, regiment um, which I've painted it's going to be a huge regiment 
and I've already paid you for the, that client half and he sent me another half to do. Whether they will match will be another matter, <laughs> but we will do our best. Uh, so yeah, um, join me at the bench, we'll take a look. Right guys, uh, not a lot there for, uh, <laughs> for the month of work, is there? I mean, I was doing Mez's Mini's uh, 28mm 30 year war as well, but, but only that, that really was a side project. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's the old guard, uh, we've got the Chasseurs uh, AP to the rear and the, the old guard Grenadiers uh, to the front. At some stage uh, the client would like me to do the, the Dutch uh, as well, as a Dutch old guard regiment, uh, probably going to obviously be in the white, um, but yeah, he'd like that doing at some stage. The colours are GMB, uh, GMB Designs I believe they're called. Uh, I always mainly use those, well, I say always and then mainly, but yeah, mainly use those. Uh, they're AB uh, figures. Uh, the AB is just what we call them now. Um, they're actually owned by Eureka Miniatures now, but we still all call them AB. Um, they're painted in acrylics. Uh, so, and, and Eureka are based in Australia, but they have uh, a UK uh, Castor and distributor, I believe, as in uh, Eureka UK, and I believe there might be one in the States as well. Uh, the 20 millimeter or 18 millimeter, I should say, um, uh, metal figures. They uh, uh, they're painted in acrylics. Oh my life! Sorry, guys. Justin, the miniature painter, just uh, video bombed my uh, my video. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, they're metal, 18mm, let's get all through it again Gav, uh, painted in acrylics, uh, mainly uh, Vallejos, uh, but uh, also the, the blues and the reds are Andrea, and there are some also, uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot more of the AK uh, paint as well range now, third generation, so there's probably some of that in there as well, <laughs> just about everything. Uh, clients gone for... Uh, Two, there's two larger red of the two larger battalions, and and uh, um, the, the three smaller battalions, and we've gone for, or he's gone for a couple of mounted officers uh, on two of the battalions and uh, uh, foot officers uh, for the others. The Marmalukes, I will get in closer in a minute. The Marmalukes, uh, as I say, are, are as I've just explained at the front of the video. Um, they, they look uh, very uh, Ottoman uh, type, you know, from Turkey and Egypt, the Ottoman Empire. Uh, but by the time that Napoleon had this small unit, they, uh, they, from what I gathered, they tended to be Frenchmen and, um, you know, Greek, uh, Turkish, you know, all that type of it, area, Albanians, that type of thing. So, uh, got our mounted command. Got a, um, a chasseur officer there, just uh, just as a bit of difference, just to sharp the command a bit, I've given him a, a leopard skin uh, cover to the horse. I can never pronounce it, Shabuku, Shabu, whatever. You guys out there are a lot better at, at, uh, at pronouncing it than myself. Uh, flowers, all that type of stuff is all made by me. As I've said before, I've got one of those flop boxes and I make my own tufts. And uh, If you're a car guy and you're watching this, I believe the stuff that we sprinkle on the uh, the white glue, PVA glue on top of these tufts uh, that give the flower colours, uh, it's just the same as you use on the carpets, I believe. So guess what my carpet colours will be on my cars? Um, yeah, uh, there you go, that's your, your base. A magnetic base on the back, it just makes it good for the client that they're not going to fly around. So, I don't like holding the figures particularly, but just to get them inside the box. Alright, I'm being gingerly because I don't want to chip any at this late stage. And now the Mamelukes are in non metallic, uh, they're not metallic paint, unlike the others, but I don't think from a distance you particularly notice it uh, because these, as I say, weren't painted originally. Uh, for the commission they were going to be just sold on either through my 
Facebook or uh, or eBay. I sometimes have people that know I've, if they watch my Facebook, they know I've painted something, and I'll sometimes be contacted and said, you know, you're selling them, or I'll put up that they're for sale. Um, and then the, obviously the, <laughs> the place of last resort is eBay. Uh, as I say, this client saw these. These are a bit um, not all over the place, but. I must admit, I'm not keen on these such small bases myself just for handling purposes, but because I had to uh, rebase these and trying to get the figures, as you can see, they are so tight on these bases. Uh, on a 10 mil per frontage, so that's 20 mil across. Um, they were a bit of a bind to actually get to, to actually get to uh, get on there without, you know, scratching them. I had about three chips I had to do, and luckily they were nearly all on the inside because they were obviously as I was levering them off their original bases, um, bearing in mind they're, they're sanded and double PVA'd. Uh, and there, there were a couple of chips, but they were re-primed and re, uh, repainted. Got a bit of grass still there that probably have to get knocked off, but you've seen most of these before. I'm not going to show you thousands of them again. And so I'll put some. I'll get them all out of the box and get some photographs on. At the end, uh, well, I'm not going to go near the, the middle. <laughs> now I've got my me, me, uh, phone telling me that Justin's uh, put a video up. And there's our foot officer. Now I prefer. If I'm doing my own units, um, I prefer a lot more officers and drummers in that in there as well, uh, just to. But obviously, you're painting what you're you're supplied by the client, so that's what his it's his views that matter. These are the shirts, chasseurs which you saw ages ago. Got our little uh, these ones. I went for a more different coloured moustaches and hair colours, uh, whereas the old guard I decided to go for the traditional grey hair. <laughs> Very like the film Waterloo. So yeah, that's it. They're all done. As I say, I'll stick some photo. I'll go and take some photographs now. These guys, stick them up at the uh, at the end of the video. Uh, they might be able to look better, look a bit better on the photographs than they do uh, just uh, under the video camera. Can we uh, zoom in? I don't think it's going to make really make any difference. I say different horse colours roughly. Um, well, not roughly. What what you can sometimes do is you might you might want to use the same uh, approximately the same colour for the horses, but then you change them by adding the different sock colours. You might uh, you know put a, a longer white sock on the one horse's leg and then a smaller one on one, another one, and you know just mooch them around that way. Uh, change the colours of the mane and tails. Uh, so there's just that bit of difference to them. Uh, but yeah, very, very, very enjoyable uh, commission. Uh, I, I didn't want it to take as long as it has done, but uh, you know, them's the breaks at the end of the day. Uh, as I say, 28 millimeters will be coming up. Uh, I'm starting to clean them off uh, in the next uh, couple of days. I'm just taking a couple of days break uh, before I get stuck in. After that, I should be getting some Vietnam figures from from one of my clients uh, uh, as well. So. Um, so you'll see some Vietnam figures probably coming up uh, on on that one, uh, but for the next uh, <laughs> next couple of months, uh, we're looking at yet more Napoleonics, uh, yet more French, um, and uh, as I say, once the once the uh, small Vietnam uh, commission's over with, I may have another client. I've got to contact him. Um, I said I'd do it sometime in the summer. Uh, who has got a, an extensive Vietnam? <laughs> well, I like Vietnam, so uh, yeah, he's got an extensive Vietnam collection uh, that um, of figures that he wouldn't mind painting me painting. So um, that could be interesting. So thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. I'm waffling a bit now, as I always do. Uh, coming up uh, quickly, what have we got? Uh, we've got an update on the motorbike. Uh, paint going on that tomorrow, uh, or some paint. Uh, I spent the entire evening, uh, or t t yesterday afternoon and evening, um, sanding away mould seams on small parts. So it's all ready for, for some type of paint. Uh, so yeah, update on the motorbike coming up. 
Uh, update on the 28mm Confederates coming up. Update on the 1 in 35 Badger coming up. Uh, an unboxing on a small mini bust I've got, which, funny enough, is connected to these Mamelukes. Uh, could it be something from the Battle of Abukir? Uh, I know there was about three land battles plus the uh, the Battle of the Nile, which was also called the Battle of the Abukir, but never mind. Anyway, so yeah, uh, there's lots of that going on. <laughs> Gab's drifting again. Uh, we'll be going into Charlie Max and Daniel's egg playing group build, so there'll be egg playing group build coming up. I've got, uh, the, the, as I say, there's a lot of guys that are trying to support Ukraine by buying Ukrainian kits. Uh, I was a bit low of funds, but luckily with this one coming along, uh, I, um, I've treated myself, I think I've said, uh, to, to a kit coming uh, before, unfortunately, uh, they all dry up. It's horrible to say. Uh, and it's not for that matter, it's just mainly to, to show my support as well. Um, but it's a full interior kit. <laughs> and we know how good Gav is with those. So we'll have a, if, if not an unboxing, because a couple of guys have done unboxings of them already, and I'll vector you to, over to them. But I'll just quickly show you what I've got. So, yeah. Also, uh, we've got uh, obviously Tom's. Once they, once one of the, once the model building projects is out, we've got another building building project. We've got the one in twenty four hot rod, uh, a tribute to my very good Mara, old Tom of Mister Rambler sixty nine, uh, and uh, I'm still. I've, I have to keep standing on myself because I, I standing on me on the my fingers to stop me pressing the buy button. I did really. I, I don't know why. I'm not even a, like, I watch a lot of these car videos on uh, on YouTube or I have them on in the background as I'm playing then I look up you know when they mention something uh, and I've been getting into them um, I can't I, I don't see where it come from really but I've been getting into them uh, Dodge Super Bs so uh, I'd like to build a uh, buy and build a Super B at some stage so where I've got some money I might add one of those to the stash um, over the next few weeks don't ask me why I dodge Super B. I just like the look of them. <laughs> I've seen a few on, on shows and uh, I thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind having that. And then Chris at uh, over at, uh, is it Carousel of Crazy? Something like that. Uh, but Chris B, he's done an unboxing of a, of a just happened to have to do unboxing the other day of a, of a Super B. Uh, so yeah, who'd have thought it, eh? <laughs> Gav wanted to build a Dodge Super B. Right, anyway. Uh, we're uh, we're <laughs> waffling now, aren't we? Going all over the place. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for for your continued uh, support uh, and for you know watching this commission, which looks very tiny now in the box. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, for stopping by and taking a look. Look after yourselves, and we'll catch each other very soon on one of those many videos that I've mentioned.